Hey friends, welcome back to another video in IMAT series. So today I'm going to share my handwritten notes for IMAT for biology, chemistry, and physics. I have already made a video, but that was not a legit video. If you don't know me, I am Sami. I appeared in IMAT 2023 and got 46.2 marks. So this video is going to consist of three parts. In first part, I will share my notes, like how you can download them. Secondly, how I prepared them, and thirdly. how you can use them because third thing is the most important you must watch third part because uh, that is the most important thing how you are going to use firstly let's talk about notes what are notes so i have made these notes by using books and uh, lectures so these notes are well organized and contains summarized information summarized information means everything cooked in a single plate you just have to uh, pick up spoon and eat that information but now here's the thing it's my handwritten notes and i written on like sort of yellow paper and that was like with pen and uh, markers it is not that glamorous maybe some student can't uh, understand hand uh, handwriting so th this can be flaws but these are good notes why uh, we will cover in second part of the video because i'm going to explain how i prepared them so first of all let's go to screen and see how you can download them okay so this is the screen where i have got my notes if you can simply go to google and search sami kamar notes you will see here i am at notes so you can download from there and if you can if you don't want the link will be in video description you can download from there so these are my notes so you just go here you will go above and here you go first of all these are the amr biology notes so here in amr biology notes i have made like all of notes except i think there is there isn't included the molecular gen gen genetics that was uh, dna replication transcription and translation i will add that soon because uh, maybe i will yeah i will add that soon so now you can see here just click here simply on download here and you will the file will be downloaded to your computer or um, like laptop wherever you want to download and for iphone user it can be it can be a little like uh, hindrance so you just try like uh, sort of uh, A laptop or PC because iPhone has got some sort of privacy, so they don't allow files to be downloaded on their phones. So you can do that. Now you these are biology notes, and here you go. These are I'm at chemistry notes for I'm at for organic chemistry. I have made a whole file which includes all the chapter hydrocarbons, all the functional groups with reactions, preparation, and general characteristics. So you can find here. And if you don't know guys about I'm at organization. of chapter in amr syllabus muir has given general sort of chapter so you can organize them like what you need to study in a specific chapter these notes pretty much cover that but uh, we are going to on we are going on that so this are going this is going to be amr physics notes and you can download the, from here i have got three more three four more chapters that i have made but i didn't upload yet so i will upload them too and so these are the notes you just simply click here and it will be downloaded Now let's go to second part. How I prepared them. So first of all, I used books. Okay, that was the main priority book was Pearson book. So I utilized that book at my time, and I was like jotting down very, very like not every information, just information that was making my concept, and that that was when I was supposed to revise. It was reviving my whole chapter again. So I just jotted down that information, but. majority of the information came from lectures that i attended me electorio okay electorio is a vim platform they were i followed mcat course but i would not suggest at all you should buy okay that is like 24 249 for 3 uh, months for 3 months so i i would not suggest you must buy because that is not going to be uh, like that because it has got so so much content you can't cover in a given time so it will be just stressful and you couldn't complete so that's why i always suggest i always suggest uh, just follow your national books and if you happen to watch lectures the khan academy is the best one and if you don't want to like watch from khan academy then uh, i would say just watch those lectures that you can watch in your home language okay whatever your national tongue is so uh, maybe from youtube or if you know any creators that you, uh, you are following from high school then you can use them okay it's not a big deal at all but now these notes are just like a prepared things but now the most beautiful thing about these notes is that in biology i have tried to add diagrams so i used diagrams to explain everything okay secondly in physics i have derived all the equations all formulas are written because physics is sort of more about how to use formulas in how to use equations i have tried to explain everything like in my physics notes and chemistry is most about 
first of all in stichometry you need calculation and if you don't know guys uh, i am running uh, i am calculator and in that i am calculator i am sending all the information how to prepare everything and there are live classes there are mock exams and then there are past papers quiz discussion and in those classes i am explaining these notes so if you happen to join if you want to join there would be like a lost batch running so you just head over to the description and see because that is like worth it everything because i am putting lots and lots of effort so those in those lectures i'm explaining my full fledged notes and i am trying to provide how to study every chapter chapter every topic from this book from that book by using past papers questions because past papers are the questions that you must know in past paper question is this and this is your chapter so just study there because i am going to ask like this and now you must study like the way this past paper question was made so how i am explaining like this so that would be a complete worth thing if you want to like do but anyway let's talk about how you can use amet um, notes because that is the most important thing first of all let let's go to my uh, notes and let me show you how you can use them so these are supposed to be notes that i am explaining in my first batch of first cohort of amet um, accelerator so uh, let's uh, let open this uh, up for example the reproductive system that we explained recently so there will be like lots of uh, questions so just let me erase them okay. so let's talk about this for example this is supposed to be reproduction okay in, in reproduction and by the way this is my instagram handle i sami kamar you can go and follow me and if you have any queries you can ask there i surely will reply so first of all uh, number of individual will increase this <laughs> sorry i'm trying to again explaining but uh, this is the reproduction okay here reproduction i have got two uh, reproductive system of human male and human female so there are like other information too but the here important thing is uterine cycle that is known as menstrual cycle or human female reproductive cycle so now see here uh in human reproductive system this is first of all the general uh, things like uh, what are these primary sex organs secondary sex organs all those things but then there will be male reproductive system so in male reproductive system i have summarized all the information let me raise that too okay okay so now it's good so now see here this is the complete human male reproductive system on one page like everything is summarized so you just can like revise remember memorize everything from here so see here uh, now i have run these testes and then all the vessels okay now you can see here uh, but then there is mitosis okay yes. but then there is spermatogenesis now see here this is the all the spermatogenesis and if you know about i am at past paper question they are like primary spermatocyte is uh, haploid or diploid whatever you if you know then that's great but let me tell you so this primary spermatocyte i have written here it is diploid okay it is diploid so i don't know if you guys uh, are studying like this or not but uh, then there will be meiosis and then spermatocyte secondary spermatocyte form so in the end sperm will form so the important thing that i want you to guys uh, tell me is that from spermatids to sperm sperm from spermatids sperm form now i want to ask in which in which part of the human male reproductive system these spermatids convert into sperms like is it testes is it any other way whatever it is okay you can tell me so that is known as spermogenesis okay just uh, put down in the comments i will see there so now here sperm structure is written here okay this is sperm structure everything about part of sperm and then there are glands okay these are glands i have like sort sort of uh, categorize everything so this is like sperm okay sperm and then this is supposed to be the spermatogenesis and these are supposed to be the ducts see here i have like sort of summarized everything and now there is sort of semen and then there will be a uh, female reproductive system and in female reproductive system everything is on one page okay everything is on one page let me tell you this is supposed to be very important thing so this is supposed to be the like Uh, every a part of for example first ovaries then there will be fallopian ducts or ovary ducts then there will be uterus and then there will be cervix and then there will be vagina everything is on one page and each is each thing is explained okay uterus and then there is ovary duct just above it okay now 
this is supposed to be the u genesis okay this is u genesis this is supposed to be the u genesis and then there will be different um, like for example the u genesis and every information related to u genesis is mentioned like when it starts and when meiosis 1 will stop why it stops and how the meiosis 1 completes with the release of FSH written here and then there will be um, after that there will be there is difference between spermatogenesis and oogenesis so if you want to know because there is one primary spermatocyte and then there will be two secondary spermatocytes and then there will be four sperm but in oogenesis there will be one primary oocyte secondary oocyte and one oocyte because first polar bodies are forming so I hope you guys are understanding it. This is the uh, ovarian cycle, and in this ovarian cycle, hormones are very, very important. If you know, don't know about hormones, that is going to be very, very bad for you. Because uh, every second year or every year, they ask about hormones like LH surge, FSH, and endo- um, uh, estrogen will increase. What will happen? Why menstruation happens? Why endometrial wall uh, uh, degenerates? Everything is mentioned here. Okay. I hope you guys are understanding. Now let's go to chemistry uh, uh, sort of uh, chapter, and there are like most of cardiac system tell me let me tell you what is cardiac system here i have mentioned so these were i was trying to explain them okay so this is card a circulatory system and in this cardiac system first of all i have run the heart and this is the heart uh, uh, diagram that i have run so that everything is clearly visible okay every minute uh, information is written here in the form of summarized, uh, summarized form okay then there is blood supply that is very important cardiac cycle is the most important how much time it takes uh, what happens like um, how much blood is pumped what is diastole systole how much time it, each is taking how, why lip sound is produced why dub sound is produced and then there will be conductive system conductive system SA node does work what is the location of SA node SA node is sort of myogenic and what is the function of AV node does the AV node can generate uh, electric impulses all those things why it is relay center there is a uh, like uh, a delay of 0.15 seconds why it just happens everything okay so then there will be a little information about electric audiogram that is electric ECG and I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to explain so this is how you can use but now let's talk about the biology chemistry section that is uh, let me open the stichometry in stichometry there are tons of in stichometry there are tons of collaboration so let me tell you how you can use that so for example I have written for example this is supposed to be mold okay this is supposed to be mold what I did is that now uh, there are every formulas are mentioned okay these are the formulas that I have written here in this form in summarized form like um, very very like little things if you uh, if you don't see this sort of information like I am writing when I'm explaining I might exp- I might exp- accelerate uh, like, it, it would be a little bit hard for you to understand but it's good now see after discussing mole I am going to ask question I have written tons of question from moles okay uh, so here first second third and then fourth and then there will be like the other most questions these are the questions that i'm not using to solve formulas because i believe that in armad you have got i know everybody every student believes that every student believes that armad has got very very less time so you have to be enough efficient to cover in the given time very quickly so that's why to cover them in the given time so that's why you can't use formula because formula follows whole for process and you can't use formulas in that given time so you will be coming up with short tricks and tips to like boost things up otherwise if you have unlimited time you would have got full marks in amat so that's why i am not using formulas here but i'm using sort of comparison and contrasting um, there will be equations that i'm using and that is very very easy if you can learn them once and you will be like uh, for remember them forever without the use of formula okay then there are like for example let's go to other uh, there are psychometric calculations in psychometric calculations, for example there are some uh, a theory i have written that is very important then for example uh, there will be mole to mole conversion so i have written one example and then there is uh, the four options are provided and its solutions is written here okay then mole to mass conversion then mole to mass conversion and its solution its uh, its question so for example if, so what happened in is there with chemistry i am writing every uh, after every uh, concept or every topic i'm writing two to three questions so that you can solve them and see what in which way you have understood the topic this is throughout the chemistry okay then in physics physics is sort of a great 
in physics i have written tons of formulas you can check them on my site because it's videos taking so much time i hope you guys have understood biology is all about information you need to memorize but there are some things for example in genetics by degrees the, you have to remember them i have drawn margon laws okay i have got here uh, the degrees everything is written here so you can if you wanna uh, see you can draw, um, uh, like uh, see them and in chemistry i have made like the sort of uh, tables that are very very easy to use because for example let's uh, see here. um this is the uh, ionic atomic molecular and metallic bonds so see here it is ionic compound atomic compound molecular compound and met metallic compounds so uh, see here i have written all the properties on one side okay i have written all the properties on one side then uh, these are the properties and these are for ionic bond atomic bond so see here atomic bond and then the fifth molecular bond and metallic bond so these are the examples why molecules are polar i have like explained everything in these notes so you just have to come up with how to use them okay so i hope this is making sense if you are enjoying this video then like this video and uh, subscribe to this channel it would be a wonderful and uh, link to download these notes will be in video description and if you need explanation like in am accelerator there will be tons of information okay questions mock exams everything the link will be in video description too so just see the red line when it's starting and what's the ending so hopefully you are preparing very very greatly for your amet and so if you want to know about more about amet accelerator this is the video that i have specifically made for that and in that video i have explained everything so just go there and watch it and hopefully you uh, will get value out of it okay so thank you for watching see you in next video tell bye bye